Vandevelde comes back, a two-on-one with T.J. Oshie. Vandevelde to Oshie. Oshie, a nice move around the defender. Drops it back, dunked in. Oh, off the glove of Bachman. I thought that was hit it for the net. Well, here we see that play, Pat, where the Sioux almost put the puck in. T.J. is able to keep the puck. Sees Duncan coming in late. Duncan's shot goes over the shoulder of Bachman, but uh, he had gotten just enough with, of his uh, glove on it to pull it over his shoulder, but wide of the nets. Now, UND's top power play unit out there. Ryan Duncan with the puck now. Around one man. Duncan centers. Vandevelde a tip. And Bachman makes that save. Here's a three-on-one shorthanded rush the other way. Scott Thowald coming in. Thowald takes the shot and scores! Scott Thowald with a shorthanded goal opens the scoring in Grand Forks. Well, again, Pat, we've talked uh, a lot about transition. And this is what that this is exactly what happens. The Sioux have an opportunity on the offensive end, make a play. The defenseman Torney had stepped down to help out. Puck transitions out, and here come the Tigers three on one. And Thowell makes a good shot on the ice. Obviously, Jean Philippe's got to anticipate maybe the pass. He squeezed it through the five hole, and the Tigers take a big one nothing lead here in the first period. Here's the lead pass. Watkins in, and a goal! A backhand goal for Matt Watkins ties the game. Well, just a great stretch pass, Pat. Puts Watkins in. He makes a great move. He freezes Bachman with, his, with a forehand. And then goes to his backhand and slides it in short side. And again, the key is that pass that puts him in. And he's able to freeze Bachman with when he, he puts his leg up. Looks like he's going to snap it. Brings it to his backhand and is able to slide it home. Beautiful goal for Matt Watkins. And now the Tigers back on the power play. Connolly across. Cody Lample at the point. On the right side, Connolly takes the shot and it's deflected in. I believe Scott McCulloch will get the goal. Well, sometimes, Pat, you could draw up uh, all these tic tac toe type plays on a power play, but sometimes your best power play is just simply getting it to the point and getting it on the net. You're going to see just a nice snapshot down low and Big McCulloch standing in front, I believe, redirects it into the net for the Tigers. Their first power play goal of the weekend. And only the second power play goal allowed by North Dakota. In 31 chances. So the Tigers, with a shorthanded goal and a power play goal, have a 2-1 lead. Here's Sweat in front and a goal! And the Tigers have their biggest lead of the weekend here at three to one. Well, Pat, we talked before about the importance of that first shift after a goal, and this time it was the Tigers that scored the goal. Their next shift out, they had a great shift. The Sioux were a little sloppy in front of their net, and there's Walski, just Johnny on the spot, picks up a loose puck and doesn't make any mistake. And for Eric Walski, his fourth goal of the season. Here's Duncan. Penalty's over. Oshie around one man. Oshie the back end right into Bachman. Now your goaltender's got to be your best penalty killer, Pat. And the Tigers did a great job this entire penalty. Uh, really not giving us too many opportunities until this one. T.J. Oshie makes just a great individual effort. Goes to his back end. Duncan comes, hits him with a great pass coming down through the slot. Then it's all T.J. Oshie. Bachman did a nice job of staying square and moving, moving laterally. A half minute to go on the North Dakota man advantage. Here's a four on three rush. Oshie to Watkins. Watkins tried to center it. It's deflected. Bouncing puck. Type in the crease. And Bachman smothers it. Look out. Oshie and Fred Haim. Looked like they had a few words. I don't think Richard Bachman saw this puck. We're going to see it's going to go off a few skates, but he gets kind of run into by his own guy. He knows it's down there somewhere. He's just going to get down on it, get down on it as quick as he can, try to get his body on the ice. But we talk about creating chaos. It's exactly what happened there for Bachman. There was just a lot of traffic in front. Fortunately for him, the Tigers, he was able to keep the puck out of the Stay tuned during our Quest post game.
or the Dahlstrom difference. We'll recognize the play or player performance that gave the winning team its winning edge. As the shot comes into Philippe Lamoureux, that's the Dahlstrom difference, sponsored by Dahlstrom Motors of Oslo, Minnesota. Now, Tension interesting time to see here. what comes out of this. Uh, if they pick, Shell picks up a penalty or not. Oh, looks like they may be calling one and one. It's an off a faceoff, the Sioux defenseman had stepped up, but the puck went back towards the Sioux end, which gave the, the uh, Tigers an opportunity, an outnumbered opportunity. McCulloch takes the shot. And the Sioux penalty box door is open. Maybe it's just one penalty. Brad Miller heading over there. Yeah, they did they did get Lamru for roughing, I believe. So Miller will serve that penalty. As you saw, Lamru gave a little extra shot there, and that's not what the Sioux need. And trailing three to one with 7.29 to go. And finally, the Tigers clear the zone. Bill Sweat with one man back. Look at Sweat in a goal, and he put it high over the net. Oh, does he have some jets? What is he ever? And that time he's coming in on his off wing. The puck's on his backhand. Here he is. He's going to use his body. He gets his left leg out in front. Tries to go up top as Phil is trying to take away the bottom of the net. But boy, this kid has definitely got some mm -hmm. wheels. Uses his arm to protect the puck. And Genaway can move himself. So that gives you an idea how fast uh, Billy Sweat can pick him up and lay him down. Now Lamaru comes out of the net as the Sioux put the sixth man on. Chorney put it right through Oshi. Trump is off the bench as the extra attacker. Chorney to Oshi. 1-11 to go. Long shot by Chorney. Won't go. Bina after it now. Here's Duncan. Vandevelde had to reach back. Oshi is there. Being hassled. One hands it out to Chorney. Playing catch. Off to Bina. Chorney with it now. Fans screaming. Here's Oshi maneuvering the shot right into Bachman. Loose puck and he covers up. Oh, Evan Trump is blasted there after the whistle by Jack Hillen. And hey, we've got some pushing here at the net in the goal mouth as Chris Fredhain exchanged some shoves there with Chris Vandevelde. Now, well, Pat, it's going to be interesting to see what exactly they call here. The Tigers may find themselves two men down. Fred Haim goes there's off. Big, there's a big hit there. That was well after the whistle. Exactly. On Hillen's hit, but then afterwards, Fred Haim was taking some shots at Vandevelde. Well, and Fred Haim and Vandevelde appear to be the only ones going off. Eighteen thirty-eight, the time. Jack Hillen did not tip, did not pick up a penalty in that situation. It remains a five-on-four power play for the Fighting Sioux. Sioux net remains empty. Bina deflects off a CC player in front. Oshi puts it. It bounces. Gets behind Ganaway. Here's a three-on-one rush. Sweat. Puts it into the empty net, and that will lock it up for the CC Tigers. Well, we talked about having to be aggressive when you're in that situation. There's really no sense for Che Ganaway to back up and play sweat in a one-on-one -on -one because he doesn't have a goalie. So he tried to step up. Here you see the loose puck, just top of the circle. Tries to step up, but Sweat just with the long sticks, able to poke it by him, and then after that, forget it. This kid just can flat out fly. And he doesn't make a mistake, a mistake with the empty net. And there's the horn, and Colorado College will leave Grand Forks, North Dakota with a split, ending a three-game losing streak. Final score, 4-1 Tigers. They improved to 3-3-0 for the season, 3-1-0 in the Western Collegiate Hockey Association. North Dakota is now 4-2-1, 2-2-0 in conference play. And it's time for our PS Doors player of the game. And we'll give it to Richard Bachman, the freshman goaltender for the Tigers. 